everyone! Welcome to my studio! This video is a tutorial of a rose petal and most of the footage you're going to see in there has been taken during an online live class that I did last week with a few of you. So with the footage, I made a long paint-along version of the tutorial that I posted on my Patreon site. And then I made this shorter version. Let's start with the palette. I am going to use two different yellows, a pale lemony yellow called Hansa Yellow Light and a slightly more orange bias yellow called Mayan Yellow. If you don't have Mayan Yellow, you can add a little bit of your orange bias yellow, like Indian Yellow or New Gamboge, and mix it in your lemon to get a colour which is halfway through. Then I have Queen Aquidon Rose, which is my pink. If you don't have that, you probably have Permanent Rose. I'm also going to use Carmine, which can be replaced with Permanent Alizarin Crimson. And for the blue, I'm going to use Tallow Blue Red Shade. My Harmonic Shadows mix is Tallow Blue Red Shade, Queen Aquidon Rose and Hansa Yellow Light. I'm going to do, as usual, Wet in Wet for the shadows. So I'm using quite a big brush. This is a number seven to put the water down. Sometimes I feel I actually spend more time putting the water down than I do the paint. Because, you know, one important thing about doing botanical art to keep your colors pure, you really mustn't fiddle with your washes. So I've got a shadow coming down here. And I don't want to go too dark. Because it's a pale yellow. And I've got some here. And some on the edge here as well. Now on the edge I can go a bit darker because it's going to be pink. So it's not quite as delicate a colour as the yellow is. And then I'm going to leave that to dry. And we're going to start on the yellow. So I have two different yellows I'm going to use. I've got my Mayan yellow and I've got my Hansa yellow light. This is now dry, so I can add water to it again. So that's wet. I've got my Hansa yellow light that I'm going to use at the bottom here, which is very saturated, very bright yellow. And then I'm going to rinse my brush, clean it and move to my other yellow, which is the Mayan yellow. And I'm going to do another semicircle, which is going to start where the Hansa Yellow Light finishes and then just go further into the petal. Right, so I'm going to use a big brush. And I'm, you know, when I mean, when I say big brush, I really mean big brush because I don't want to lift what's been done before so I don't want to start scratching my paper with a small hard brush so I've got a very soft large one I am wetting everything again but at this stage you have to be really gentle because if you start being too rough with it if you're not careful you might lift what's there this is soaking wet and I am now going to go with a slightly small brush and my quinlacrylon rose, quite concentrated on the brush. I'm going to start at the top because there's loads of pink at the top there. And I'm going to go around the edge. And every time I lift my brush, I'm going to get one of those blobs. And these blobs are going to mimic the fact that those that the color is bleeding into the petal from the edge like it does on the rose petal it's quite a lot here i can go for it starting to paint a hint of veins wet in wet 
If I drag some of the pink that I've just painted, it will paint a hint of the veins that I want to put in there. Not because I actually want the veins to be there yet. But if I start in the, if I start brushing that way, I'm going to get the wrong texture. So I'm brushing in the direction of the veins. Whether they get painted or not is not an issue. Okay, it's time for another pink wash. So I'm going to again wet the whole petal with my big softy brush. Adding plenty of water. And this should be the last wet in wet wash. And now with brush number two, I'm going to go again with my Queen Lacridon Rose. But it's going to be quite diluted because I want a slightly flatter wash than what I had before. And I'm going to extend the pink towards the center. And as it covers more of the yellow, it turns into a peachy color. I can actually add more pink to the edge. It's not quite strong enough. So I'm going to go one more time. Not too far down because I don't want it too pink towards the base. So starting at the top always and then moving my way around towards the base and then pulling towards the center in the vein direction. And then I will pick some of those with a dry brush later on when all that is properly dry. And I'm going to leave to highlight with a flat brush. Again, I'm doing it while it's still wet. I've got a highlight here on the side, on the edge of where the shadow is, as the petal turns over. I'm going to start my veins with pink and I'm going to use two brushes. One is a very fine brush, is a number one. One is a slightly thicker one, a number four. The number four just has water on it and the number one will have a little bit of pink. And I already have painted some veins wet in wet, so I'm just going to go over them, making sure that I'm happy with their position. But the veins are not that prominent on my petals, so I don't want to have great big lines running all over the place. So I've got my damp brush ready. And if I need to, I will just blend what I'm doing straight away in the petal. So you want to have some veins that are quite prominent and some that just disappear into the texture. And how far you want to take this is up to you, really. You can paint every single vein that there is on that petal, or you can just do a few prominent ones like I'm doing, or with a petal like this, which is such nice soft colors, you could stay at the stage I was before with just doing wet, wet in wet veins and not going in with a dry brush at all. If you want a more sort of dreamy look to it, that's absolutely fine to do that. There's no right or wrong, it's just a different style. Okay, that's it for the veins. After I finished the petal, the day after, I decided that I needed my edges to be a bit stronger. So I used Carmine and I added a little bit of color to the edges. 
and a few blotches here and there, again with carmine. And then I did another pink wash of uh, most of the petal, just leaving some yellow at the base and towards the middle. And then after that, I had to redo a few veins because the pink wash had diluted them a little bit too much. So I did a few more veins in exactly the same way that I just showed in this video a couple of minutes earlier. So that's it for our rose petal. I am doing a PDF downloadable tutorial that I'm going to post in my Etsy shop and I'm also going to post it for free on my Patreon site. So if you're a Patreon and you're watching this, don't buy the tutorial, you're going to get it soon. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon in another video in Atelier Sandrine Mojou. Happy painting, bye!